everyone. Um, I decided to do sort of a, like a progress report uh, on my currently inked for October because I felt like it. <laughs> so here we are. Um, this is where we started the month. A lot of stuff did not make this list from 30 inks, 30 days. A lot, a lot of stuff did. And then what happened is I basically filled a bunch of pins. <laughs> so let's turn the page. So we'll start a new one. And I just want to, I have a my little booklet here that tells me what's in my pens because I have a few that are similar to one another. So, weekend update. This pen is almost empty. I'm not surprised. I really enjoyed writing with it. So, we have October 2022. Currently inked progress report. I'm not going to start with this one because that feels like the wrong thing to do. So let's start with the one that I think has been inked the longest. This is my Twisby. Eco tea in mint with a broad nib. My ink is Colorverse Mystic Mountain. I really enjoyed this. I'm kind of surprised that it still has ink in it, but I think the reason is I haven't really been writing as much. Um, and I do have kind of a lot of pens inked, <laughs> so that love is spread. Let's stay in the family. Next up, oh, again, I'm going to remind everyone, these are not color accurate. I highly doubt you're seeing any video in which teals are represented accurately on cameras because something changed with camera sensors and like none of them capture this color properly. This looks more blue on the camera. It is not this blue, it is sharks blue. You don't know who the sharks are, you're missing out. You owe it to yourself to look up the San Jose sharks and then start rooting for them as your team. Thank you. Okay, Twisby Eco, Cerulean. I might have just ranted there a little. There's a surprise. Cerulean blue in broad. And this ink is Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsukiyo. You like that I decided to do some swatches? I think so. I think you like it, because I decided you do. Sticking still with the fam. We'll go back to this one here. Let's do swatchies first. So let's switch sides of the page. I like that. Come on. Okay. Everything about this is going well, except I think I'm taking up too many lines. We'll stop. We're not going to skip lines anymore. So this is the tw Twisby... Eco and transparent purple with a broad nib. And the ink is a Van Ness Originals in Hissy Fit. I have loved this so much. Wait, I didn't talk about these. Mystic Mountain is great. It's not new to me. I love it. The shimmer in it is subtle and elusive. It appears when it feels like it. I really like this. And I like the combination, although these don't go perfectly well. This is like a purpler blue and it doesn't matter. 
Oh, Cerulean with Sukio. I love it. 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 If you have Tsukiyo, the cerulean is in the same family. I dig it so much. It's interesting. I'm seeing there being some red sheen in the splatty, scribbly. That doesn't appear in the writing. This, oh, a favorite for the month. I mean, I think you can tell. Maybe I just didn't fill it very full. Whatever. I have loved all of those. But... Let's move on. Um, then we'll go with other pins that we filled. So this made it to my other list. This is my Cueco Perkeo in clear. I got this pin because I wanted a pin with a clear feed. I'm not going to lie. That is the whole reason I got this pin. It has overperformed. I put a Goulet nib on here, which I just realized now because I recognize the brand. I assume it's a medium because I don't think I had a choice. So this is Kueko Perkeo Clear in medium. The ink in this is Hiroshizuku. Fuyugaki. So this is an orange, but it's it's kind of a porange. It's got a little pink in there. Then we have this small thing. This is the Menu Grand Scepter. I think this is the 12. I don't remember. It's never really mattered to me because I'm not going to get another one. And the ink in this is Robert Oster or Oster Orange Zest. I'm gonna have something to say about these inks in a moment. And then, this beauty. Oh, it's so gorgeous. We have our Newton Pens Majestic Medium Nib. And the ink in this is Pannonia Rocacoma. What did you write, Maria? Doesn't matter. Fox friend. One more. Then I'll share some thoughts. Leave this out. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is happening live. People are watching. And it's not live, Maria. This has never happened to me before with this pen. That's funny.
so much is going on in my life right now. So this is, <laughs> this is my, Twisby Go in clear with a medium nib. And the ink is KWZ Grape Fruit. Okay, I lied. I said one more, but I'm going to get to the end and then we'll talk about these four. And then these two spoilers. Then here we have... This is a newer pen to me. A Jin Hao X750. This isn't surprising me, to be honest. This has been my experience with this pen. I. Something's got to give. X750 with a medium. And this ink is Erban. Cacao. Du. Brazil. So this has been such a dry pen. I can't, I, I hate it for that reason. Um, it has been torture. This is not an accurate representation of this ink. It is not this dark usually because it doesn't generally write. Oh, I didn't write down what this was. Shame on me. So this, I mean, I know what it is, but I didn't record it. So this is my Lamy Vista, the medium nib, and the ink is Robert Stir Smoke Screen. And the last pen. The newest pen. I, I, I'm afraid now. I'm just going to start drawing on my hand, it turns out. So this is my <laughs> No! <laughs> Franklin <laughs> That almost certainly happened because I scribbled it on my hand, just for the record. My Franklin Kristoff Model 45 with a broad sig nib. And the ink is Troublemaker Fox Glove. So one thing I've noticed about this is that I think I'm afraid to like tighten this cap a bunch. Now, let's go back and talk. I already said spoilers. I hate this pen. Um, I think <laughs> I think it's the nib. I tried to make the nib write wetter and then it had just too wide of a nib slit and it wouldn't write very well. So I don't know. Maybe it's better now. It's looking better. Maybe I just fixed it. Who knows? I'm going to keep giving it a chance. I inked these two because, you know, I was like, I need a brown ink because I don't like brown, but I'm supposed to like have a brown ink. I don't know why I put these rolls on myself. But of the two inks, of these two, I love the Lamy Vista for the writing experience. I like the color of the Cacao do Brazil better. So... Of the two, the winner for the ink 
is the pin that I don't like as much. <laughs> then we have these four. So I thought, again, I don't love orange, but I should have an orange ink, right? Because I guess I feel like your life isn't complete without an orange ink, even if you don't like it. Um, that said, I do have a clear winner. So if you look at these, I, in the writing, cannot see much of a dis difference between orange zest and the, so the Robert Oster and the Pannonia. On here, there might be a slight difference. I suspect that just has to do with which one has dried out more in the pen. When, I, when they were more freshly inked, I did some longer form writing um, that I could share, but I'm not going to. And they're just so alike. If you want an ink that's just like orange, both of those. The Fuyugaki, you can see actually in this smear here how there's more pinkish tones coming through. I like it. However, for me, the clear winner is actually the KWZ Grapefruit. And not because it smells like vanilla. I like that it is, it is still orange. It's not red. It's orange. While well, here it's kind of looking red because it's, been sitting and drying up but it's still orange but it's got more going on it's got more shading to it well not maybe more than orange zest orange zest is really great shading but of these if I decided well I need to own a bottle of orange ink the bottle that I would buy is KWZ grapefruit so that's kind of was the point of these four pen experiences and these two, they were to determine, okay, if you actually need a bottle in this color, which which one do you need? Um, if I had, if I look at these and I think of these, which has been my favorite this month, probably the Hissy Fit. Something I really love about it that I don't know if it's going to come through is it tends to have a sort of halo around the letters that is darker. I love how that makes it stand off the page. That said, oh, this one. I love it for everything. The color, which again is not accurate on the screen. If you tell me that you like the color as it appears on the screen, I don't know what I'm going to do with you or with myself. But anyway, I mean, maybe you can actually like it with the way it appears on the screen. That's totally legit feedback. It's just not accurate to how it is in real life. Anyway, sharks, sharks deal. Um, or in case you're one of these, uh, that's a magnetic pin cushion. Um, can you call it a pin cushion when there's no cushioning about it? Hmm. I really have loved this one too because I love the color. I just. And I mean, honestly, it's a Sentin of Roshizuko ink, and they're such wonderful writing experiences. They just, they write. They write well. I've enjoyed the this pen for the difference that it has brought. It's my first Signib, and it is a, an ex, it is a learning experience for me. I'm having to think more about how I'm writing, and... Um, I'm not in a point where I'm needing to like dump my emotions or my words onto the page so quickly. So having to think a bit more when I am writing is, um, totally an okay thing to happen. Uh, so I didn't say that this was the salmon glow color because it's my only model 45, but that is what this is. All right. That's my progress report. For our October 22, 2022, currently inked standouts are probably these three, which surprises no one. Well, it might surprise you, but it doesn't surprise me. Thanks for hanging out with me and for listening to me ramble about pins and ink. I hope you're having a wonderful time whenever you're watching this. Bye.